what's good my beautiful people welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing the weekly reading for the fire signs aries leo and sagittarius for the week of june 8th to june 14th 2020 uh, if you'd like a personal reading my information will be in the description box uh, if you'd like to follow me on instagram i pull a daily card of the day for the overall energy you can find me at lovely soul empress this reading will be for aries leo and sagittarius sun moon rising and venus um if you have a uh, those placements if you're a cross watcher dealing with the aries leo or sag or someone who has those important placements this video might be for you this video will not resonate with all aries leo and sag please take what resonates and leave the rest behind if it does resonate with you please like subscribe and share i already shuffled the decks i prayed and meditated and i also used palo santo so we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna clear the energy okay spirit okay as i stated i already shuffled so i'm just going to make some space here we're going to jump right in spirit show me what you have for the fire signs aries leo and sag for the week of june 8th to june 14 2020 spirit aries leo and sag for their highest good spirit most important messages they need to know right now I'm going to leave that like there because it came out like that. Um, Aries, Leo, and Sag, Spirit. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Week of June 8th, 2020, Spirit. Aries, Leo, and Sag. For their highest good, Spirit. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. One more spirit. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, three of swords, heartbreak as the overall energy. So the situation, nine of wands in reverse. Okay. So nine of wands talks about the wounded warrior. So you're moving past this hurt, this heartbreak that you were in, the blockage is an emperor. This could um, be Aries. So Aries, is, this is you. You are blocking your own situation or an Aries that you're dealing with. Now, in general, it doesn't have to be an Aries. This can be a CEO type, uh, someone who's in charge, um, a boss, someone who, with authority, uh, could be someone with authority over you. This is also someone who's usually married. Um, could be married to you or married to somebody else. And uh, they sometimes can be controlling. Now, in the advice of spirit, you have the three of cups. So the three of cups could be talking about a different, couple different things. This could be talking about celebrating with friends. Or this could be talking about a third party. Possible with the three of swords, but not necessarily we will get clarifiers and your outcome is the king of cups. So this is talking about you again. This can be like I said, well, no, this would be, this would be um, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. And this could be someone who is very loving, but not necessarily showing that on the outside. Like they have a lot of love for you, but they're not necessarily showing that. Okay, this is uh, someone who's usually like uh, a father, husband type, um, a family man. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers. Nine of Wands, Spirit. Nine of Wands. Why do the Aries, Leo, and Sag have that for the situation, Spirit? Nine of Wands in reverse, Spirit. So you got the Page of Wands and the sun in reverse. So I feel like 
<clears throat> and I shuffled them and made them all come up in the right direction to make sure. So I feel like a couple things here. This situation had you overwhelmed and you felt like there was no end in sight with this sun in reverse, right? And the page of wands, you were waiting on something to come to fruition, message of passion, or you were trying to learn something that you were passionate about. You felt like it was too much, like you felt no end in sight, like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. But then here's the emperor card. So if you're trying to start a business, um, it might be the way you're looking at things. But if this is in a romance, we're going to clarify right now. Spirit, why is the emperor here as the blockage for Aries, Leo, and Sag? Why is the emperor here as the blockage for Aries, Leo, and Sag spirit? Why is the, air, the emperor here? So this is a lot of cards, but I'm going to take it. So there was some type of juggling. You might have been juggling between two people, two things, a career and home, whatever. But um, there was some juggling that this emperor was doing, right? And someone is waiting for this emperor to make a decision. Here's the empress. So this is a power couple. And then it's talking about a knight of swords rushing in. Now, sometimes he can be abrupt, right? And the two of swords need to make a decision. So this person that we're talking about needs to make a decision. And it's been here for a while because the juggling and it ended with that, right? So we're definitely talking about the emperor and the empress and this heartbreak right and a lot of conflicts but you're coming out of that energy or at least you're trying to like you feel stuck you felt like there was no light in the end of the tunnel spirit why is the three of cups here why is the three of cups is the advice from spirit why is the three of cups the advice from spirit for aries leo and sag why is the three of cups the advice from spirit for aries leo and sag why is the three of cups the advice from spirit why is the three of cups the advice from spirit why is the three of cups the advice from spirit for Aries, Leo, and Sag, June 8th to June 14th, 2020, Spirit. Why is the Three of Cups the advice from Spirit for Aries, Leo, and Sag? Last shuffle, Spirit. So temperance, so being patient, div divine coming in to help. The Queen of Swords, cutting away what doesn't serve you. Nine of Pentacles. So there was a third party that was juggling. This caused a heartbreak. This emperor was acting very immature with his passion. This brought a lot of problems to you. And temperance came in. You were trying to be patient. You were waiting on them to make a decision. But you got tired of that. And here's the Queen of Swords. You're cutting away all of that. You're showing up in your single energy, nine of pentacles. You feel like you could do all bad by yourself. You don't need that shit in your life. Spirit, why is the king of cups here as the outcome for the Aries, Leos, and Sages, please? Why is the king of cups here for the Aries, Leo, and Sag? Week of June 8th to June 14th, Spirit 2020. So here's the King of Swords, right? Using head over heart, Knight of Cups, a love offer, Five of Cups, having re uh, regrets in love, Four of Wands. This is the 1111 card, you know, the home, right? And death, right? With every death, there's a rebirth, right? So this person, this emperor who betrayed you, Put you in this Queen of Swords energy, cutting away what no longer serves you. And this King of Cups, he's in his King of Swords energy too. He's trying to, um, he may be like, you're not feeling all warm and fuzzy. But really he wants to offer you the, the his cup of love. He's just trying to do it in a, in a, like a strategic way. 
right? But he has regrets about what he did. He realizes that, you know, it's all on the line. He blew up his home life, right? And death, so death and rebirth, because that's what the death card means. Now, we're going to get some clarification on this Three of Swords. Spirit, why is the Three of Swords here as the overall energy for my um, fire signs? Why is the Three of Swords here for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sag. One more, Spirit. Last shuffle, Spirit. Oh, I'll take that one. So, you got the Six of Cups in reverse. You are not trying to take this person back. You are waiting for the victory. You feel like going back to them would be um, not in your best interest. And you have the Five of Swords. So, there's still a lot of manipulation in this situation. Let's get some love messages. Spirit. How does my Aries, Leos, and Sag feel about their person, Spirit? How does Aries, Leo, and Sag feel about their person, Spirit? How does Aries, Leo, and Sag feel about their person, week of June 8th to June 14th, Spirit? How do Aries, Leo, and Sag feel about their person, Spirit? Last shuffle, Spirit. Okay. So you know that there's chemistry here, but you feel like there's differences in between you that could be age, religion, um, the way you were brought up, you know, whether you want kids or not. And then you got unrequited love. So it doesn't look like you're moving in their direction right now. Spirit, how do the partners of my Aries, Leo, and Sag feel about them? So they're going to their friends for help. They want you to trust them again. There may be children involved in this situation. Spirit, what actions would the Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius take towards their partner this week, Spirit? What actions will they take towards their partners this week? What actions will Aries, Leo, and Sag take towards their partner this week? So, you're trying to make an effort to free yourself, yeah. You want a new love. Spirit, what actions will the partners of Aries, Leo, and Sag make towards them this week? What actions will the partners of Aries, Leo, and Sag, they feel that you are their soulmate. They're calling you in. They know you deserve love. And they're going to do this soon. Spirit, what, what will be the outcome for the Aries, Leo, and Sag's? What's going to be the outcome this week, June 8th to June 14th, 2020, Spirit? What will be the outcome for the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius this week? Outcome, Spirit? Outcome for Aries, Leo, and Sag? Outcome for Aries, Leo, and Sag? Final shuffle, Spirit. So... Spirit says forgiving and learning. So this forgiving and learning will be for your benefit. But you got reconciliation with deception. So if you take them back, you can expect more of the same. This person is a flirt. So that's what came out for you. I wish it would have been better news. But what is good news is that after the cycle comes, you will be getting a new love. Okay? Okay. With that six of wands, that's telling you that victory is waiting for you. That's just something that you have to deal with first. So you can make room. You have to get rid of the old to get to bring in the new. Spirit, some advice for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Advice for the fire signs, June 8th to 14th, Spirit 2020. Yeah, so Spirit says concentrate on self-love. This is the time now for you to heal. You are already coming out of this wounded warrior energy. You got it in reverse. I know you're feeling like it's not going to end because you got the sun in reverse, but your time is coming, all right? So that's what I have for Aries, Leo, and Sag. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.